Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. What you saw during the introduction to this video was sales engineer David Mikatadze playing this very guitar in his living room. He was demonstrating for us the 1959 ES335 reissue from Gibson Custom. Let's take a closer look. With the 1959 reissue of the ES335, the Gibson Custom Shop has tried to make the most accurate reproduction of a vintage guitar possible. This is a semi-hollow body guitar, which means that there's a solid block of wood, and in this case that block of wood runs all the way down to the back of the guitar. We have hollow wings, and the body is constructed from maple. Our neck is mahogany, and it has a long tenon. This means that there's a longer piece of wood that inserts into the body. It increases the tonal transfer and the sustain between the neck and the body. We have a rosewood fingerboard, an ABR1 bridge, and a very light tailpiece. Now this increases the top end response and also affects the sustain. Other vintage touches include the reproduction tuners and the way that the truss rod is installed into the body. We have two of Gibson's custom bucker humbuckers in this guitar in the bridge and the neck positions, and each of those has an individual volume and tone control. It uses bumblebee capacitors just like a vintage guitar would have. <laughs> Let's check out the tones from these custom bucker pickups. We'll begin with the bridge pickup. I'm playing through a Black Star Artist 15, and we're set on a clean channel. The bridge pickup has a lot of bite to it, yet it's still rich sounding. It has that open top end that you'd expect from a vintage style PAF, yet there's nice full body there as well. This is a very versatile instrument, that bridge pickup can go from everything from heavy rock to twangy country style licks. Our neck pickup is fat and round sounding, yet it has nice articulation on the top end. The two pickups combined together give us a chiming open mid-range and top end. Now let's engage some overdrive with a little bit of delay. I've got a Wampler Tumnus Overdrive and an MXR Carbon Copy delay. Here's our bridge pickup. <laughs> As I mentioned, this is a very versatile guitar. It can get gritty and mean, you can go all the way into heavy rock type tones, plenty of sustain here, and with that solid wood block running through the body, you don't have any issues with feedback even at high volume levels. Here's our neck pickup with some overdrive. You can hear that it has a sweet, round tone. It's great for blues leads, fusion leads, for playing jazz, and just about any other style as well. Both pickups together brings in that chiming top end. The 1959 reissue ES-335 has a very comfortable neck shape. It's a fatter C shape that you can really get a hold of whether you're playing lead or you're playing rhythm. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the 1959 reissue ES-335 from Gibson Custom. This is an amazing guitar. It sounds wonderful, it's very comfortable to play, the tones are out of this world, and it works for just about any style of music. My thanks to Sweetwater sales engineer David Mikatatsi for his amazing playing, and thank you for joining me for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time, we'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects, and we'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Mm -hmm.